Hey, what's up guys, Tommy here back again with another video. If you couldn't tell, I'm trying out some new camera angles. I got the GoPro mounted at the top of my head instead of my shin, and I got the Insta360 out. I'm not 100% sure how well the audio is gonna work with the camera set up this way, because I don't have any external mics. So today's video is just kind of a test to see how well this setup works, and maybe I can get some microphones set up later. Anyways, it is 6.22 a.m. right now, and I'm gonna head up into the mountains. It's looking really, really nice up there right now um but anyways you know it's not getting any earlier so let's get headed out now if you haven't already make sure to go ahead hit that like button leave a nice comment down below most importantly subscribe so i can make more great ride videos like this and let's get right into it you guys are enjoying these new camera angles you know i got the insta 360 going and i got the gopro on the top of my head of course the audio is not very good because there's no external microphone so it's just all raw audio but i'm planning on fixing that as soon as i can but anyways what i really wanted to do was remind you guys of the main focus of this video which is a malfunction which happens to my enduro e-bike later on in this ride this can happen to anybody's enduro e-bike so whether you own an enduro e-bike or you're thinking of getting an enduro e-bike or something similar you might want to listen up because this could happen to your bike and it's just really not something you want happening on your ride. So if you fall into this category of thinking of getting one of these or I own one of these, you're going to want to watch the end of this video because this could very much happen to you and I'm going to be going over what happened, how it happened, and I'm going to be explaining how you might fix this issue. Anyways, let's get back into it. I don't even know if I'm talking really good or how the audio is. 
out right now. Ooh. What is that? Okay, guys. So. Bike. Just shut off. I heard like a little clicking noise and then, and then it just, so shit, I think the battery might have gotten disconnected or something. Yeah, definitely wasn't a motor cable issue, I just fixed the motor cable. Um, damn, no, that's got to be something with the battery or the controller, because I just heard a little clicking noise and it just shut off. I have some tools, so I guess I can open this thing up and um, check it out. Thankfully, most of this little run is downhill, but I guess I'll head down and um, I'll uh, update you guys when I get down there um, and sort of see what that's all about. Uh, you know, that's kind of another reason why I like to, to do gun rides up here because if anything happens you know you run out of battery or something happens to your bike most likely you're just going to be able to roll down the mountain without any issue you know what i'm saying so now i'm mostly putting it on its side because i don't have a uh, kickstand if i used to it i probably should get a kickstand Okay, so that's fixable. Um, it's just a little unfortunate. I'll show you guys uh, what's going on in here. And um, you can tell um, by my tone that I'm not like super freaked out, even when it happened. Because usually, if something does does happen with this bike, it's it's gonna be pretty fixable. Unfortunately, this isn't something I can fix on the road. Um, it's something I'm gonna have to, um, you know, work on when I get home but it should be a quick fix. Um, and this is why you shouldn't always trust um, the little Chinese connectors that they have on these, these batteries job. They will come apart. You know what I'm saying? My last pair of connectors came apart and I should have learned my lesson and um, I don't know, put some new connectors on here. Um, but I thought these were a little more sturdy, uh, but apparently not. Let me show you what's going on in here. Okay, so I don't have any tape on me. Actually, no, you know what? I do have tape. It's holding on the Insta360. Um, so maybe I could use that and try to like force this wire on there. So you can see what's going on here real quick. Um, this came out of that red connector. You can see there's a whole tangle of wires here. I, I wanted to get this uh, lighting kit in and I wanted to do it fast. Um, so I just kind of threw everything in there. Maybe I'll organize this while I'm at it. Um, but you can see all that solder there holding it on. I mean, it, it gets to a certain temperature, right? And it starts to melt. And when it melts, it, it'll just come loose. So I'll have to do a better job at um, getting that back into that connector. And then I'll probably swap it with some new connectors because I have them. Um, so yeah, guys, moral of the story. I have a you know, cheaper Chinese battery, right? And I mean, they're not even cheap. Um, friggin' throw some new connectors on there. My friend has a battery, you know, just like mine, right? But the connectors are really solid. If they're really, really solid, you don't need to do that. But if they're like this, you know what I'm saying? These little pin connectors, freaking get some new ones. Um, anyways, I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna get home. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll call for a ride. I'll make sure to update you guys on this situation. If you guys enjoyed this video, you should go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Leave a nice comment down below. And most importantly, subscribe. I will see you guys soon in the next one. Later. A little update. Pinch these two wires together and good golly, she will go.